Okay, so today what we're doing is we're checking out the last chills video. As you've seen in the previous videos, what I do is I watch an earlier video, a popular video, and one of the most recent. We're now on the most recent video for chills. I'm hoping this kind of makes up for the previous two videos. They weren't as exciting as I was hoping for, but we'll see. We never know. This is 30 scary videos I almost can't show you. I've got a feeling I'm going to be disappointed in the high grass if this was my hike i'd pack it up youtube channel squatch watchers shares this video of what appears to be a sasquatch stomping through the high grass take a look the sasquatch looks like it's heading out into the open field but after seeing the human holding a camera, he returns to his coverage. Many in the comments say this is the real deal, and some offer further background. It could be a guy in a monkey suit. There's nothing really selling it to me here. Ah, oh, s***. Here we go again. Good start. Generic Bigfoot video. It's like every other Bigfoot video. There's a thing. It's from a distance. Nobody tries to get closer. Nobody shouts it to react or anything. Could just be a guy in a suit. Not a suit. It'd be a very different kind of Bigfoot if he was wearing a suit. But yeah, it's probably just a guy in a gorilla outfit. The common to get a hold of. This looks legit to me too. And being an older piece of foot, everything looks legit to chills. Bitch lends credence to the thought that these creatures have been around for a very long time. This is being called the clearest footage of a shadow person to date. Chill out, dickwad. That doesn't fill me with confidence. Why do I feel like this is going to be the worst piece of footage I've ever seen in my life? Real ghost videos and mysterious paranormal events shares the footage captured in Indonesia. See if you can spot it. Hang on, he's just said this is the best footage you're ever going to see, and now he's telling me to see if I can spot it. So it's possibly off in the distance in some tiny pixelated form in the back of the screen. Best footage. Really? I mean, I haven't. There's a circle there on the screen. I can't see anything. Best footage. What am I even looking at? Oh, they I'm say the shadow person mysteriously appeared and then it's an optical illusion. Clearly, there was somebody in front of him, moved over, and then went out of sight again. I almost missed that. Getting on my eye horse. Then, just as mysteriously, disappeared in a few steps. It looks like a woman. See, they haven't necessarily disappeared. The way that everybody moves, it's just restricting the view. Now that it's gone back to here, they could be over there. I'd want to see the full clip, because I bet you any money you see the person again. Personally, I think the figure was blocked by the backpackers, making it appear to vanish. Why? Because this figure to the left at the end of the clip looks like it could be the so-called shadow figure. If it even... That's the exact same person. I'm glad Chills called that out, but this isn't even remotely paranormal. It's just an optical illusion. Oh God, we're on number 29. And this is what we've seen so far. 
This is going to get so much worse. Finn is a shadow figure. I actually think this was another hiker out in the fog. What do you think? Hiker or shadow figure? That's clearly another hiker. If Chills knew this was another hiker and he could see there was no ghost there, why waste the time and put it in the video? Come on now, dog. Come on, man. This child ghost just wants to play. Shared by YouTube channel R1 Best, this video shows a mother and... I've uh, seen a few clips of this on TikTok. Seems to be quite popular on there. If this woman is really going through uh, what she keeps showing on here, then it's I'd be traumatized personally. And her child being taunted by a poltergeist... After the toy vehicle is driven into her, the mother looks at it apprehensively, and then this happens. When it drove forward, I assumed this toy might have some self-driving mechanical feature. But that wouldn't explain how it manages to fall over like this. In my opinion, it's definitely being driven by a spirit. And I hope it's just a mischievous child ghost and not something more. I don't understand why he's flipped the same shot around. I feel like he's trying to give the impression it's two different camera angles, but it's the same camera flipped with a filter on. Regardless, it's not important. I've got no idea what's going on there. If this is a genuine poltergeist, then I really do feel for this woman. I can't see anything that would indicate it's fake. I could be wrong, but this one seems pretty genuine. Like I say, I've seen a couple of clips. And uh, if this is real, her and the family have been really taunted by this thing. So if it's real and it's a genuine haunting, I hope she eventually gets rid of this thing and gets the help she needs. Is this a statue, a man, or a giant humanoid? I remember seeing this. I was well confused because uh, I was just getting little bits of what was going on, on in this Miami store. And then... I frequently got videos saying it was a whole load of fakery and then a bunch of people saying it was genuine. I, I genuinely don't know the ins and outs of, of what happened. I've got a feeling this is a fake photo though. From what I could gather, nobody captured anything which makes it questionable about whether it really happened. Why has Chills put a circle around that figure that is quite clearly in the center of them <laughs> there's quite clearly in the center of the screen there's no need for that big circle we are not going to miss it across this image on the youtube channel utah bn and this image is trending in the vietnamese speaking youtube community i wanted to track down the original source of this image i think this is fake nobody's reacting to it there's a guy walking over to it like dead casually these people in the doorway if they could see somebody's legs there they would come out and they would look up at it i just pretty sure there's a guy right behind him looking at the car this is a doctored image it's fake and after some digging i tracked it down to a video made by american vfx channel billy fx the original video shows various monster men appearing all over the city including the creature that was in the image from the Utah BN list. Told you it was fake. It's a good fake. It's good. Compared to the clips it's just shown, that's a massive improvement. So now we know that this image and the video associated with it are the results of VFX created by a very talented artist. While this does put the mystery to rest and give me some peace of mind, I can't help but wonder if I'm still going to see this creature in my nightmares. <laughs> Number 26. Really chills. Cemetery ghost. Lays it on thick a bit, don't he, chills? He wonders if he's going to see that in his nightmares, this fake image.
I don't think I can cope with how much he hams up these videos. I take my hat off to him. He's he's always got some way of making the most mundane thing exciting, I guess. After setting up cameras in a haunted cemetery, YouTuber Dennis of Dark Life captures the resident ghost at work. Take a look. A semi-transparent pale figure moves past and then disappears in the darkness. When he returns to the grave, he attempts to communicate with the spirits here. Did he leave that camera there? I'm a bit confused. Did he just leave that camera there? Like, I get that there's something there. I'm just a bit unsure, like, what the purpose was. Did he, like, go, leave the camera there, come back and then find that on there? Because that would be weird, but... Because it's all black, I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm confused. They're through a spirit box, and they <clears> tell him this. <laughs> they don't tell him why. Later, he approaches an abandoned house near the cemetery, and inside, he hears something. <laughs> Back at the cemetery, another steady camera captures a figure very similar to the first, but in the daylight. Not gonna lie, that'd freak me out if I was out there alone and heard noises coming from a building. Tell you what I'd do. I'd be moving away from said building. I wouldn't be getting closer and putting my hands around it. Light, it's dark like a shadow figure. That was pretty cool. It's easily done, but if it's real, then awesome. I mean, I, it's not showing much, but it doesn't seem to be hamming stuff up a bit. So th this stuff could be genuine. But the fact that he had someone coming from that cabin and, and he's still out there, supposedly alone. I have got to admit, ghost on well, paranormal investigators and ghost hunters, there is a difference. When they go to these places alone... I take my hat off to you because you, like, I don't know if I could keep going to these places alone, especially when weird shit's going on. Later that night, Dennis suffers a grave blow. Oh. I'm not going to lie, that just freaked me out a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure I heard footsteps running up to him. Which is scarier than the actual anything else. Can you imagine being out in the middle of nowhere and you're just hearing footsteps coming at you? That's insane. That, that would shit me up, I'm not going to lie. i never forget when I was working a late shift on a pot bank and I remember just feeling like somebody was there and I remember just turning around and uh, my friend was dead low to the ground to try and creep up on me and because it was so late at night quite dim lighting even though i could see that it was my friend just the, the posture of him low to the ground trying to quickly scurry up to me one of the scariest things i've ever seen in my life as he looks around for the culprit it appears to come up behind him again <gasps> How the hell is he still there? Like, if, um, if something had touched me that wasn't there, oh, I mean, I suppose if you've done this stuff several times and you've had those feelings a couple of times, it might not bother you that much. Some ghosty touches me. I'm gone, ski. Did the ghostly figure get aggressive towards him? It looks that way to me. And I have a feeling of dark doom for Dennis. For I believe this figure is powerful and malicious. This haunting investigation leaves the YouTube team 
Night Watchers, Paranormal Australia, chilled. As they set up their devices, they receive a message from beyond the grave. Show that you're here. Was this female spirit answering him? The camera then captures two more EVPs. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of when people use these spirit boxes. And, and I mean, EVPs, not so much. Um, like the white noise, sometimes you can catch some weird stuff. But these these spirit boxes and apps you get on your phone are just, I think, the bullshit. White noise is one thing, but when you've got an app which is programmable and has has got no connection to like, I don't know, the skipping through radio waves and things like that, I just feel like I don't feel like they're genuine. I don't feel like they've a- anything that you can go on your phone. I don't think works in the slightest. I think it's a gimmick and a money maker and completely pointless. <laughs> They then strangely capture on, a disembodied so breath. Good. Last time too, it was still halfway through. Like... Something scurries past in the darkness. They don't think it's an animal. We are here in peace, 100% in peace. Ooh. We're not here to ha- harm any. What's the matter with you? You're like a Kentucky fried idiot. We're here in peace. Don't hurt us. That'd be me. That would. Yeah, that'd definitely be me. Trying to uh, like, tell a ghost that it's all good. Anybody, anything. I don't know what that was, but... It... Did you see that? Yeah. Me? Yeah. 100% I saw it. Although I don't see it, based on their reactions, I believe them. This might be a bit mean. But I get the feeling Chills believes a lot of people that other people wouldn't believe. Let's just say he gives a lot of people the benefit of the doubt. Benefit of doubt. Is that the saying? Uh. What is mine? It sounds to me like the voice says, what happened? The voice is so distressed that I think the person's passing must have come as a surprise to him. All I can think about now is coming to you as a ghost and not knowing where your life went. Would you want to know your future? YouTubers Mackie and Amanda get a psychic reading from medium Sheena Metal at the haunted Newland house. The medium tells Amanda things about herself that she couldn't have known. Like, almost like you have two lives. Like there are two parts of you. And there's a shift coming. And you're trying to figure out how... This girl who she's reading... That smile, I don't trust it. I feel like she feels like this is all hocus pocus. That's not a face of a believer. Sheena also knows that Amanda too has the gift. Or psychic gifts. Oh, she does, does she? Have really begun to become such an enormous part of your life. I was wondering what you were going to have to say about my psychic gifts. Yeah. If she was psychic, wouldn't she have known what she was going to say about her psychic gifts? Or is that just me being a dick? To be fair, I I do believe in psychic abilities. I do believe that the people that you see pushing that the psychic tend to be the fakers, whereas the people with genuine abilities don't really broadcast it as much. Like They'll let you know. And they'll say the odd little thing. Generally, a real psychic doesn't really open themselves up for the scrutiny and the the judgment that comes with telling people that. Because I only had a I had one reading done by a stranger who said something like about them. Amanda asks Sheena a question, and her response is chilling. Is there anyone that's like hanging out with me, or you have a friend? Oh, no, not a friend. Very close to you. She's really close. Like, so close. Like, she's spectrally inside her. Did you lose a friend? Somebody very close to your age? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a big guiding spirit for you. Do you believe in psychic readings? 
Zare. Zare. You could say that about anybody and kind of get that hit. To be fair, especially when you start reaching a certain age, chances are that somebody's lost somebody. Like I'm 37. And, you know, I've had, I've lost somebody in life who passed away far too young. But I imagine most people have this very same thing. If it wasn't a friend, then they would just take a stab in the dark of a relative a lot of the time. I didn't think I did. Better yet, if she's psyche, wouldn't she see a friend around all the time? Wouldn't she already know this? There's a demon in the house and YouTuber Seeker of Ghosts. There's a demon in my house. What am I going to do? Remix is facing it head on as he attempts to make contact through a spirit box. A circle of candles is mysteriously extinguished. Oh, that was some gust of wind. It blew stuff off the table. Where'd that gust of wind come from, though? That's the question. Oh, это какая-то реальная активность видно сразу. Then things get progressively worse. There's dust blowing everywhere, indicating that there's been a bit of a gust of wind. Заметьте, что что-то мне стрёмно, капец. Приза, как тебя зовут? He was warned, but he doesn't listen. As the demon turns up the heat, the electricity goes haywire. Слушай, как тебя зовут? Ты можешь сказать? I don't know what this house is, but it's a right tip. Sorry if it's your house. I didn't mean to judge. Смотрите, даже я сказал свой совет. Он не работает. The demon warns him again. But again, he doesn't heed the warning. I feel like that was superimposed. Why do I have to die? Why do I have to die, Priza? The demon is present. Выйдет, ну, во-первых, на связь. И почему я должен умереть? А ты можешь оставить эту квартиру в покое? Призрак. And truly, I feel like that's just somebody in a cupboard shouting out, like or off screen. He reveals itself. So push it. All of it. That's too clear to be real um you get people all around the world that like one evp one very clear evp which is which is still incredibly difficult to hear is like the creme de la creme for them and then you got this guy getting full disembodied voices like movie audio quality and we're supposed to believe it come on That Gloucester smash didn't even sound real. Well, the demon did. Let me replay that because that didn't sound real. And truly reveals itself. Something about that, that glass smashing just sounds fake it could be real I, I don't even think there was any glass smashing there i can't be bothered to check again but it just sounds so off especially when you go into the earphones well the demon did warn him and it looks to me like his power isn't anything to mess around with the haunting of hollowbrook farm leaves youtube team haunted anglesey breathless as they arrive at the place their K2 meter spikes where no energy source exists. I think that's a, a resounding yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
They then receive some clear messages on the Necrophonic app. Necrophonic app. The ghost talking application for your phone that's readily available to everybody. I could download that app right now. I know damn well my house isn't haunted. Well, I don't think. And I would get activity through on one of those apps. They're plainly told to leave, not once, but twice. Get out. Well, we're not going to get out just yet. You're able to make a noise. Later, while using connect. I love how people get these messages through on these apps and they like go along with it. I start having a full on conversation like, like it's real. I might download one of these apps and next time one of my mates or a family member comes around, I'm going to whip out the ne necrophonic app. Start sitting there and having a conversation as they walk through the door. And then when they ask me what I'm doing, I'm just going to tell them, tell them that I'm communing with the dead. See what kind of reaction I get. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Next, they see a figure seemingly lying down near the stone wall. That's well done. Wow. Yeah, I mean. wow, look at that stick figure struggling to figure out what it's looking at. And so, some of these SLS, I think it's called, they're connect uh, technology. Right? Sometimes I do question, ah, okay, that, that one's a bit weird. But I think the majority of the time these are just, I think, what's the term, matrixing or trying to read and figure out their points. He thinks there's a person there a lot of the time. So I think, like in this, it turns out that there's actually horizontal lines. And lo and behold, it's it's creating a figure that's horizontal. It thinks that somebody's lying down based on the lines that it's picking up. So I don't think this is anything ghostly. You know, I'm, we're on video eight, is it? Yeah. I've still not found anything scary. Actually, I tell a lie. The the ghost running up on the guy that that was a bit freaky. That did scare me. Not scare me, but it would have scared me if I'd have been there. My theory is that a body is hidden behind the stone wall, or perhaps its bones were built right into it, and it seems to be warning them to leave before they end up with the same fate. Chills, man. Where do you come up with these things? <laughs> Where does he get this stuff from? Where? Like, <laughs> oh. Does the witch's spirit remain in the witch's hut? The YouTube team's survivor is about to find Ooh. out. And Baba Yaga. When you mention a witch and a hut, I just think of uh, Baba Yaga. I'll have to do a video on that one day. Pretty cool. They may not survive their overnight stay. On the way to the hut, in the darkness, they hear a mysterious shriek. Arriving at the hut, something moves nearby in the trees. As they approach what they believe to be the witch's house, their paranoia kicks up a notch. It seems he saw something inside, but we don't know what. They are walking toward another abandoned home. When they feel unnerved, Сука, ты, блин, перепугал. Стоп, дурацкий. 
But when he well, did he just put a ring around? He gets a closer look. He realizes his eyes are playing tricks on him. Вот так вот столб стоит. Вон он вдалеке. Подумал, что это кто? I don't know. Thankfully, just a pillar. They arrive at the next house, and that's when they see something clearly paranormal. Is it paranormal? Or is it just an animal jumping in there or the, the wind? Something touched that curtain. Oh, Lord. Again. A f again. Nothing new, nothing changed, same old shit. Did they enter the home and are peering into the attic when they hear this? <laughs> you know, for a second, then, uh, before that girl went off, then I thought they heard choir music. I thought that's why it was implying that up in an attic there was just a choir like singing, but that growl sounded like somebody's stomach. Them. There's something in this house, and its growl is menacing. Is it the witch or just her pet? Somebody put me back in the fridge. Is it the witch or is it a pet? Don't witches cackle. Why would she growl? Come on, chills, man. You can come up with better than this if you're going to craft fiction. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. There'll be links below how you can tell me about your paranormal experiences.